In late January and early February 2009, fires swept through many parts of Victoria. 173 lives were lost, more than 2,000 properties were destroyed, and more than 400,000 hectares of land was burnt. Having spent time with so many Victorians who were affected by the fires, my thoughts, of course, are with them today and with the communities who lost so much and the firefighters and volunteers and emergency services personnel who fought so bravely. In the worst of times for our state, we also saw the best in human nature. In the immediate aftermath of those fires, we established the Victorian Bushfires Royal Commission. We gave them the widest possible terms of reference and today I received the Commission's final report. I have released it to the Parliament immediately and it is now available, again without delay, to the Victorian public. In the coming week, we will announce an interim response to the recommendations contained in the report. And in the coming weeks, after we have considered the report in detail, we will announce our final response. The community, many organisations and agencies have told us that they would want, they would like the opportunity to contribute to our response and we will be giving them that opportunity. Undoubtedly, there will be changes in the way that we address the threat of bushfires in our state. Change, of course, can often be difficult, but this is first and foremost about making our state safe and saving lives. And it is of the utmost importance that we continue to work together in partnership to achieve this goal. I wanted today to take this opportunity to thank the three commissioners, to Ron McLeod, to Susan Pascoe, and of course particularly to Bernard Teague for what was I know a very demanding, a difficult and sometimes harrowing task. No Victorian will ever forget the events around Black Saturday and together in partnership we must do all that we can to ensure that such an event never occurs again.